God bless you and welcome to Your Divine Appointment, the media ministry of Divine Jackson MD Ministries. I'm Dr. Jackson. Today we're beginning a study in the Word of God entitled Trying to Live While Under a Death Sentence. Um, and when we hear that title, perhaps our mind immediately goes to uh, the area of the justice system and persons who are on death row that are seeking appeals in order to have opportunity to live. But what we don't recognize is how very much our condition as lost sinners is like the person on death row and submitting appeals attempting to live. The problem is that those that are submitting appeals attempting to live uh, who are uh, caught up in the justice system of perhaps uh, areas of North America or the United States, they're submitting their appeals to a system that has strengths and weaknesses and to judges who will make decisions, judges who themselves have strengths and weaknesses. But we as the law center have a hope because our appeal goes to the righteous judge who is unbiased and is without any error. And his name is the Lord, our God, the Lord God, Jehovah. And all of our appeals, of course, must be made through the proper system. Just as the person that is on death row in this earthly system, the natural system, has to submit an appeal in a proper manner and needs an advocate, a person we call an attorney. Uh, in like manner, we have to submit our appeal in the proper manner, using the proper advocate. And as we will find in this study, the Lord our God has provided us a perfect advocate in His Son, the righteous King Jesus. And so we're beginning our um, study in the book of Luke. And I hope that you have your Bible or access to it. And if not, I'll read this to you. In the book of Luke, which is the third of the four Gospels, in chapter 17, verses 11 through 19, St. Luke 17 11 through 19, reading in the King James Version. It says, And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, he referring to Jesus, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which meant that they had the disease called leprosy. And these ten men, which stood afar off, and they lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, calling him by his name, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. Hmm. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed, meaning they were healed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? What a question. Where are the nine? There are not found that returned to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Jesus said to the former leper, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. What a word. Now, this exciting study uh, begins here in the book of St. Luke. Um, as aforementioned, um, St. Luke is one of the four Gospels, which are the four books that open up the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Uh, the uh, four Gospels are essentially um, four persons reporting on the life of Christ. The Gospels give us detailed account of the life of Christ. And someone might say this is akin to having ABC, NBC, CBS, and maybe CNN all attending the same event 
but because their cameras are at different vantage points and they have different persons reporting, some detail found in this report would be uh, in further detail than the information provided by another network. Yet all of them reporting on the same event and when we add up the total information gathered from all these vantage points, we get a thorough review of the event being covered. Thank God for us, the life of Christ was covered. And we have here the four gospel um, recordings. Here, St. Luke is uh, remarkable in that he is the only Gentile author in the entire Bible. And he gives us this account. And we'll pick it up next time. Remember this, the God of the Bible is real. Prepare for your appointment with him.